that fun interpretation of Batman was orchestrated by none other than Kevin Hearn, Bare Naked Ladies, and it's all part of a release for Record Store Day. And guess what? It's all superhero themed. It is so creative and fun, but how in the world did you come up with this idea? And when? Uh, well, I've been working on this for about five years. Wow. Yeah, which has required some patience. I learned to play the Incredible Hulk theme when I was a kid. And so when I was playing with my solo group, Thin Buckle, we would sometimes go into the Hulk, and my drummer would transform into the Hulk behind his kit while doing a solo. Uh, and we started adding to that. We added uh, different themes and decided this would be fun to record. I started daydreaming about, oh, who could we get to sing each part? And then I thought, why daydream about it? Let's do it. Some of the musicians, like you had Alan Doyle, and he recorded his vocals in an interesting place. Yeah, <laughs> it was basically in the, the bowels of a hockey rink. You know, we were on tour in Canada in the winter and uh, had one of those days where there wasn't much to do, the weather outside. And I was like, Alan, will you sing Iron Man? He went, yeah. <laughs> well, I drew this guy and he's got a treble clef. You know, I think his superpower is he knows the secret chord. <laughs> My friend Lockie, you know, he did this. He did the comic book as well, and, which is brilliant. You get that too, and it's only $15. I know. I don't think I could be any happier than I am right now. I'm glad, and you have a comic book dress. It's really the only time I could get away with this <laughs> yeah. on TV. That's cool. Um, but for this, I love the saying that not all superheroes wear capes. And I'm going to apply this to you right now okay. because you did not have to have the proceeds go towards music counts, but this does. Why? Why did you do that? You don't have to. You know, the whole spirit of it was rooted in fun yeah. and reconnecting with people I'd worked with over the years in a, in a fun way. Uh, it didn't feel right to sell it, you know, to make money. It, it felt right to do it for a good cause, and music counts felt like a perfect fit, just due to the, the sort of the childlike nature that's in it with the the um, superheroes. Is there a plan to do a side B or another version? Yes, I would like to do a side B and uh, re-release it with a second issue of the comic. Okay. And what I'm starting to imagine is perhaps, you know, imagine OMD doing Doctor Who. That's where we're going to start. <laughs> for more information on where you can pick up this amazing record for Record Store Day and all the releases, go to citynews.ca. Entertainment City.